Hello, wolf then. My name is Fulton Elba, and welcome to Valley. Now, this game is one that I've been looking forward to play for quite a while now, because, yeah, playing this in 720p wouldn't do it justice, definitely not. This is a game that really needs 60 frames per second, and I know very little about the game. It is supposed to have a pretty decent story, and as you guys know, I love a good story. So, without any further ado, I'd say let's just get started and see what we're dealing with in Valley. And please select the gender for your character, male. The life seed is said to contain an incredible, earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. Well, that's, that is the thing. It is written off as a myth, but... On one side, what if it isn't? Then you need to spend as much time as you can in finding that thing. But if it is just a mere myth, if it is just a made up story or made around a campfire, then you're wasting so much time finding something that doesn't exist at all. That is the thing with that stuff. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? That's too Spend normal. A month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, Beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Well, trading my tinfoil hat in for a whip and fedora sounds pretty cool. But hey, tinfoil hats are amazing. And I'm getting the feeling that those canoeing lessons did not pay off. Definitely getting that feeling right now. So where did we came from? Remote region in the Canadian Rockies. Yeah. Useless discount canoeing lessons. They really did not pay off. Dear god, that thing is banged up like... Oh my god. Oh, but that looks gorgeous. That definitely looks gorgeous. <laughs> So, yeah, canoeing lessons, um, our walkie-talkie is dead, so no communication with the outside world, lovely, absolutely lovely. So where the hell are we, and what is that? Ruins? Cave drawings? Where the hell am I? Good question, and... Uh, I have no idea what that is supposed to be, but it looks rather... Ominous, I'd say. Hmm. It is, it is looking gorgeous down here, though. But yeah, the life seeds. Um, if this real, if anything like that, if a myth is real, yeah, then you have to spend all your resources to actually try and find it. But if it is not, you're just wasting so much time and everything. And this is cloth. Like, this is not rock, this is def definitely cloth. So, civilization, people, wherever we are, others have been here. That is for sure. Now, proper daylight. Oh, okay. That looks gorgeous. Oh, I'm already loving this. And the lions. Or not. Eh. So. How the hell are we going to get out of here though? Like, our canoe is broken. So. How are we going to leave this place? Even if this life seed is real, which I'm going to guess it is. Then still.
This is a very, very nice looking spot though, like, oh, uh, and it just gets better and better. So I'm guessing this is the valley. Right on time! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Oh, you gotta admit, that just looks amazing. Like, oh, I would love to just go to one of these kind of places. Just walk around in the nature like this and just take it all in. Like, I live in the Netherlands and we really do not have this kind of stuff. Like, no freaking way. Now, I, I don't know if there is stuff hidden, like secrets and whatnot. I'm going to guess there might be, but... Whatever the case, this is not going to be a completionist playthrough. I'm going to miss a lot of stuff. And I'm definitely interested in what's going on over here. Are these Will-O-The-Wisps or...? Um... Hello? Okay, I have no clue. Can we... Hi. Can we... Okay, we can walk straight through you. You are bloody bright. Yeah, God. Okay, um... Ignoring these magical looking lights for a moment, I'm seeing these pillars. And I'm seeing structures. This is a place where people actually lived. But to what end? Like, was this just a lost civilization or something? Or... I don't know. Whatever the case is, it has certainly been abandoned for a long time. Okay, something magical is definitely going on here. Um, okay, is that a skull? That is... Either those are just masks or they are actual skulls. Mostly looking like masks, but... These things are cute! I'm liking them. Please don't attack me or anything like that. Where are they going? Um, guys, things? I have no clue what I have gotten myself into. What is this place? Good question. Also good question. How hard did I hit my head? Yeah. I mean, that could be a thing. This might all be just in our imagination. We never actually went to the valley, but we just smashed our head against the rocks while canoeing. I mean, that's a possibility. Glowing mushrooms. Giving off a lot of light. Yeah, now I'm really wondering if any of this will be real from now on. Ooh. What have we got here? Is that an army truck or something? An old army truck. Must have crashed here ages ago. But where did it come from? Like, it... It can't have come through there, right? Airdrop, maybe? Whatever the case, I wish I could zoom in, because there's something right there. Access, something, something. Okay, what have we got here? Um, the Pathfinder. Looks like a mechanical suit, yeah. The leaf suit. An acronym for... Vagina... King Evidence. Okay, doesn't really tell me much. I'm gonna pick it up, but... We're gonna try it on, of course. Oh, um. Pet. 
pendulum. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. Leaf As suit a Pathfinder, man. you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed Leaf suit. As our hard-working scientists at Pendulum develop new ways to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the Leaf suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Leaping high into the air. Sprinting as quickly as a cheetah. Even manipulating life and death itself are part of the many stunts accomplished by the Leaf suit. Just a tiny detail. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a Pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Leaf suit. Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. So this is where it truly starts. Cool. Leaf suit, huh? Definitely. Oh dear. Okay. Let's see what's on these old radio reels. Definitely radio looking cool. Audio journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. Wait, so... That's as good a place as any to study them. The life seed actually exists. Okay. So, this is all stuff from World War II. Of course, this kind of stuff didn't exist, otherwise we would have it right now, but oh, that looks so cool. And... That is some really high jumping. Search for the life seat near the dig site. But yeah, a tiny, tiny detail. You can... Create life and... T take life or something where... I'm not sure what it was, but just a small detail. Nothing bad happens with that. Okay, well, let's move on. See what we're dealing with. Access... Tun Kel? Uh, tunnel A, my god. Tunnel A. Ooh. Is that? Ooh. Note from Virginia King, October 15, 1944. The Northeast Dickside is providing a number of clues towards the stone cutting techniques of the ancient inhabitants. The pathfinders assigned to exploring the site have uncovered a wide array of tools that may have been used. With any luck, we can attempt to reproduce the methodology. Okay, so that is how we're going to find information about this place. Were these... Were these the testing grounds for the leaf suits? Like, if I see this and a thing like this... Wendigo Lake, military checkpoint, tunnel access, archaeology, dig site, and lots of unreadable information. But stuff like this makes me think that this was a training ground for this kind of stuff. To be able to... Frequently jump insanely far. Oh god. Uh, okay. Um, north east dig side. Well, let's see if we can get there. Should be easy peasy. And this is gonna be a one way trip. I'm not gonna find all the clues and all the journals and stuff like that. That is just impossible for me. Thank god there is no fall damage in this game, but that. Oh, it feels amazing. Okay, archaeological excavation site. Dig site location northeast on trial. Access tunnel B. Oh. Run down slopes to gain more momentum to jump higher and further. Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna have to jump over this in that direction. Oh my. Okay. Let's take a little bit of distance. 
The speed is key. Oh my god. Okay, that is just... <laughs> oh, that feels absolutely amazing. That feels absolutely amazing. Of course, there's going to be secrets here. Most likely. I want to find some. If I can. There's most likely not going to be anything over here. Almost definitely nothing. But still, worth checking out. Oh, God. So, northeast dig site. Oh, how I wish these kind of things were real. These leaf suits. Just... That kind of jumping distance is just mad. Oh, God. Okay. So, moving on. Keep on running, keep on running, keep on running. Let's see. What are we dealing with? That's where we can go. Jumping. And... I like to take the high route. Gives you a bit of sight on all the surroundings. <laughs> okay, more of these. People must real If these things were real, they must have had amazing amounts of fun with them. <laughs> oh, that's just epic. Just epic. And there's only one downside. With this high of a speed, you're gonna miss out on so much stuff. Ooh, hi. Can I... Can I get over this? Come on. Yes, made it. Hi. Um. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to go over here. Access tunnel A. Yeah. These things are here too. Oh, that's just the water. Um. I thought... Yeah. Okay. So. You can jump insanely high. Leaf suits are very heavy equipment. This makes water incredibly dangerous. You can jump. You can sprint. You can do anything you ever want. Except for take a, take a bath. Take a dive. Take a swim. Oh, that's the only downside of this suit. Oh, oh, yeah, I am so tempted to just look in every single corner because you just know there's going to be something hidden somewhere like a journal. You're going to miss those with ease. Uh, oh, well, we're just going to have to make. Oh, dear. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we're going to need to make a little bit more speed for that one. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, water really is a tiny bit of a danger. Just tiny. Okay, so the path is going this way. We're going away from the objective currently. But hopefully we can twist around and find stuff. Yeah, I keep thinking I'm seeing stuff. But it's not actually anything. Which is a shame. I would love to see more journal notes and stuff like that. Energy stored within the leaf suit known as Amrida can be given to one's living things. Used to shoot life energy towards dead trees or animals. Yeah! Just a small little detail. You can... As if it is nothing. Um, hi. Collect enough acorns to gain access through certain ancient doorways. I'm gonna have to collect acorns. Yeah, okay, sure, no problem. I don't think all of these trees are gonna have acorns in them. Most likely not. But hey, returning life to dead stuff. Yeah, I know I'm low on energy. How do I gain more energy? Oh, yeah. That's a good question. I'm just blasting life into anything and everything around me. But if energy is low, then how? Okay. I could also do it on dead animals. What? As if it is nothing. What the hell? Oh, that is freaking cool. Oh, I want to restore life to everything right now. Pathfinder access only leaf suits must be worn. 
Yeah, I don't even think people could have gotten here without leaf suits. Just thinking. Okay, I might have to go back to this place at some point. Because I do want to return life to whatever I can. But energy resource. Yeah. Do I maybe get energy back from these things? Um, I could also take life, couldn't I? How do I take life? I'm not sure. Whatever the case. Let's continue, see what we can find. Ooh. Energy. Touch an orb to absorb, absorb its energy. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Which means, give me the energy. And then I'm gonna go back and restore some. Because I want those acorns. <laughs> Oh, but, yeah, this suit, it's pretty obvious they never actually finished the testing trials, because if they had been finished, the war would have had a lot less casualties, definitely. Oh, that's just epic, I love this. This is just amazing, this is absolutely amazing. So, um, no acorns. They're not dropping from trees, I think. Maybe they are. They definitely are dropping from trees. But, yeah. More acorns. <laughs> so, were these indeed testing grounds? Because if this suit is able to give life and take life, was the life taken away from these trees at some point? Like, it seems weird for them to just be out and just die like that. Of course, I'm gonna need more of these orbs now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna restore the entire valley. But these do respawn. This is all just testing stuff out. I'm learning as I'm going. And I will restore that tree. Acorn? Nothing? No, thought so. Okay, great. Let's move on. And actually continue with our journey. We do know these energy orbs restore themselves over time. And the path tells me to go in this direction. Yet I am curious as to what's over here. Although it's awfully reckless to leave such a powerful suit, capable of taking and giving life nonetheless, wide in the open like that, I thank the circumstances which made this possible. I want my very own leaf suit right now.